Lesson from Bits to Terabytes. Short lesson on basic units of information used in computers. A bit is the smallest piece of information that can be represented in the computer. And a bit is usually represented by a zero or a one. And a byte is eight bits. Abbreviation for a bit is B, small b, and abbreviation for a byte is a capital B. Now many times you can see a representation of a byte and we're just going to make a, uh, this right here is going to be a byte, one, two, three, four, and there should be eight little sections in here. and each bit is either a zero or a one. So if I want to represent the number zero, that means simply means I put a zero in each one of these. And this represents the number zero. If I wanted to represent the number one, simply erase this zero, put a one in here, and this would be a one. And if I erased another zero, this would be the number three, one one in the binary system because basically this is 1, 2, and this is 1, 1. If I wanted to represent the number 2, I would simply put a 0 in here. And if I want to represent a larger number, simply erase this 0, add a 1 here, and this would represent the number 6, because that would be 1, 4, and 1, 2. And if I just wanted to get 4, I just simply erase this and put a zero here and so forth. If I filled every one of these with ones, I could represent everything from zero to 255, which is two to the eighth minus one because we're starting off with zero. If I wanted to go to 256, I'd have to add another section here. But this is, this is a byte and that's how computers access information, usually on a byte boundary, typically the smallest way to access information, but your computers nowadays access information in a larger boundary than bytes. So to access larger pieces of information in a computer, we're going to have to use larger units of measurement, and we use a metric system of measurements. So if we've got a thousand bytes, and that would equal one kilobyte and a thousand kilobytes would equal one megabyte and that would be a million bytes and one thousand megabytes would equal one gigabyte and that would be a billion bytes and one thousand gigabytes would equal one terabyte. And if we were to put this all together, you notice we've got four sets of zeros here. So we've got one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, bytes equal one, one terabyte. And that's how you get from uh, one bit all the way up to a terabyte of information 